Hi there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am going to um, do some reverse stamping uh, and then I will show you how to apply the deco once you have it made. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my new plate, my acrylic one, um, and I'm going to use this image today. So this is the image. I'm going to use and then I'm going to paint it and then apply it to my nail. Okay, so first off, um, now there is a couple techniques to doing this. Um, one, you can do it on a rubber, um, like a silicone mat, which I have here. And then the other technique is to do it directly on your stamper. Um, I'll show you both, but I'm going to do two separate videos because I don't want to get it, it to get too long. So today we are going to do it on a silicone mat and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's get started. So first off, you will need some stamping polish. And I'm just using um, Pretty Born Black and this is the item number on it. put it on the only problem I find with these ones is yeah I didn't quite put a lot of polish on there so let's try this again and I'll put more polish just cover that up So we're having some issues today. Oh well. See, it takes a little bit to get used to how to stamp. That one's so bad. So that image is pretty good, as most of it um, I will end up losing uh, when I put it onto my nail. Okay, so just put everything aside for now. And the colors that I'm going to be using today, um, I've decided I'm going to do three. So first off is uh, give it to give me the green light and it's a sparkly it says green light but it looks more blue to me and this is a china glaze and then this red and this is ruby pumps and I'm gonna add some purple called grape juice so now there's two different things that you can use you can either so depending on how big the image is and what you're comfortable with um, I generally try and use a smaller type um, paintbrush and it's just this little guy here you can also use dotting tools or I also have um, this water marble tool that I got off of eBay uh, or not eBay um, born pretty store um, what I'll do is I'll put the link below for this as well because it's got a really fine tip on it sometimes it's a little easier than using dotting tools um, I have a set of dotting tools and I usually try depending on the on the image you know I'll go big or small okay so um, what I normally do is I will put 
a drop of polish down on the mat. It's probably more than I need. And I'm going to do the big image in the red. So you just basically go in and paint it. It's like color by numbers is basically what it is. You just have to be super careful. I mean, I know sometimes like if you're doing um, a, another color, um, what you can do is, uh, I'm trying to say here, uh, sometimes if um, you can, once you're finished the top coat, you can also do a base coat over top. So whatever colors you use first, they will show up first. So with those colors, you have to be more careful because they will be showing the most. So there you go. And then I usually have a little bit of acetone and a little dampen dish. And then I just wipe it on paper towel. And then next color. So I'll show you how to do, I'll do the purple. Now I'm going to use the water marbling tool because what I want to do is I'm going to do these little tiny little flowers on the side. See, the little water marbling tool is really great for small detailed areas. Just kind of dip it in the acetone and then wipe it on a piece of paper towel. Now, the last color I'm going to do is this Give Me the Green Light. Oh. Kind of more gloopy. It's an older polish and one of my favorites because I like the glitter. So. We will go through and just paint in around. So I kind of picked this design because I liked, it's kind of Christmassy. I'm not really doing like super Christmassy since, I mean, my base coat is pink. Um, I had to try this gorgeous pink. I just got it. Um, it's um, from Lavish Polish. I bought it from the Black, um, Black Friday sales. And it's such a pretty pink. So I had to try it today because I really wanted to swatch it and see how it looks. And I just love it. It's such a pretty pink. So I figured it would be a cool background to do with my kind of sort of Christmassy design, but sort of kind of not. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'll be able to see this or not, but in the center, I'm just going to put like a purple dot. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to 
let this design dry and then once it's dry I will top coat it now when you top coat it I find um, don't use a quick dry top coat on it I find it dries too quickly and it makes the deco too brittle um, so you don't want it to be brittle so basically what you want to do is use a clear nail polish so um, what I'm going to use this is what I have at the moment it's called complete three it's a top coat straightener base coat all in one it's a clear and you don't need this particular brand whatever one you have available that is not a quick dry top coat um, yeah because um, it just makes them way too brittle and they they um, they're not pliable and they won't adhere to your nail properly and that you don't want that okay so I'm gonna pause for now and wait for this to dry okay it should be dry so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to top coat it now now I don't go over like I don't go around the deco really big I just do it enough to just slightly go over the edges okay so we will let this dry um, we want it dry that we <clears throat> excuse me dry enough that we can pick it up and move it around but not solid where it's gonna crack okay so one moment we'll be back hi okay so um, the deco should be dry enough what I've done is I've gone ahead and put um, a clear coat on this finger because I just want it to be kind of tacky for the deco to adhere to so what we'll do is we will carefully pull up the deco doesn't seem like it's quite dry enough. I don't want it to, I don't want to wreck it, so. It's not quite dry enough in the center. So, because it's still leaving some of the polish there so I'm just gonna let it sit for a few more minutes and let it dry I'll be right back okay so we are back now what we there we have our deco so what I'm going to do now what you need I use a pair of scissors and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off stay in frame here I'm just going to trim off the clear edges we're not going to use that part so the less you can get off your nail oops try and be gentle with it <laughs> not like me and drop it everywhere Okay, so I've kind of trimmed out the majority of it. And what we're going to want to do is place it on the nail. So what I do, let's move this up a little bit so I can get in the frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick... edge of it to my nail 
and just kind of center it. Then you kind of lightly pat it down on your nail. Then I have a little bit of excess on the bottom, so I will trim that off. The less you, or the more you trim off, the better because then you won't have to do as much cleanup. And this image looks like it just fits my nail pretty, pretty darn good. And just cut off that area. Okay, so now you will take your acetone and a cleanup brush. Um, you can use, like this one, um, I had a girlfriend send it to me. It is an e.l.f. concealer brush and it's got a really small edge. Um, there's also a brand of cleanup brush, well they're, they're concealer brushes. Um, this one is a rounder one. Um, I got this one from Walmart. It's a steel brand and they have a couple different size um, styles. So just a cheap, cheap brush. Uh, I think it's like $2 or something. So actually for this, I'm gonna use a smaller brush around the edges. And I just do the clean up. And then when I get to the end of the nail, I just kind of use the base of, or the barrel of the brush, and just gently pat it. So what you want to do is kind of push the decal underneath the nail. See how I'm pushing it underneath and that way you're it's kind of capping your edges for you and making it smooth doing this way then that way you're not globbing um, the poly or the acetone on because you don't want to wreck your decal. You just want to kind of clean it up. And then go around your edges. And then you just, I what I do is I wipe the excess onto the piece of paper towel. That way your brush stays clean. And what I do on the edges is I kind of tap it to the edges and that way it just kind of pushes the decal down and then I, after that, then I wipe. And then I kind of look underneath and make sure. Now if I didn't trim it off, you would have all of the decal underneath on the nail. You can kind of get rid of that by, if you get too much underneath your nail, you can kind of dab underneath and then it'll, it'll get rid of the excess for you. But because I trimmed it fairly close, there wasn't a whole lot to get rid of. Okay, so let me get stuff out of the way. So I think 
it's on there pretty good and I think I've cleaned it up really well so now what I'm going to do is I am going to top coat it now now at this stage um, it is okay to use a, um, a fast dry top coat it's just when you're not when you're making your actual deco you don't want to use a fast dry so and then you just top coat it and then make sure you cap your edges to seal in your design Just try to get in there a little more. And there's the design. So now that I've top coated it, I don't know if you can see that, but all the colors just kind of pop. Um, the green, the greeny blue, and the red. So that is making a deco on a silicone mat. Um, so the next tutorial I will do is I will do it directly on a stamper. So um, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.